everyone welcome to this video lesson in this video lesson we are solving the problem from electric charges and fields the problem is like this a thin wire of radius r is having electric charge q throughout the wire a point charge q naught is placed at the center of the ring so this is the center of the ring at which a charge q naught is placed what is the increase in the force stretching the string approximately is first of all at the center of the ring there is a charge throughout the ring charge on total ring on circle is q that q is here that q is there throughout the uh, see, throughout the charge throughout the ring q is there and there is a q at the center between these two charges there will be a repulsion because of the repulsion the wire stretches its size how much it stretches is the question right so total charge on the circle is q then you know in the circle the angle total angle is 2 pi so charge per unit angle is q by 2 pi then what is the repulsion what is the repulsion due to which there is a string that's a there is an extension that's the question right so let us consider a small part of the ring first of all in that small part of the ring what is the repulsion let us try to calculate small in a small element so we can understand that there are identical elements everywhere so we will get the overall picture so in this element say this is the small element that we are taking into consideration where the total angle is something like d theta if I bisect that angle, each angle becomes d theta by 2. So, there is a small angle. So, let there is a small sector. Let dl is a small length. It is making an angle d theta at the center so that small dl will be having a small charge so what is the charge on that dl if we are supposed to calculate i will call it like dq dq is the total charge for the total circle that is for the 2 pi angle is q by 2 pi as it is making a small angle d theta respect to charge in that dl is total charge by total angle multiplied by the angle it's like charge per unit length into length i know dq now between this q naught and this dq there is a repulsion so can we calculate the force of repulsion between q naught that is there at the center and dq on the small element is as per the coulomb's inverse square law 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the total charge at the center is q naught the charge of the dl is dq by distance of separation is nothing but the radius of the circle so its value will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q naught dq is nothing but equal to q by 2 pi multiply an angle something like d theta that is the force of repulsion between the small element dl and the charge that is there at the center this direction of the force what will be the direction of this force Assuming this, this DL is a small element, I can say the direction of the force, whatever we have written, will be in the upward direction. That is DF or else F, whatever you can consider. 
so there is one force acting in upward direction there is some another force what is that another force let us try to understand as this wire is getting stretched as this wire is getting stretched there is a tension developed in the wire the tension at any point is the tangent drawn to the circle this is the direction of that tension dt or i'll say tension t is a acting so i can see or resolve what's the value of that tension is see as this angle is d theta by 2 this angle is also d theta by 2 as tangent is perpendicular this angle becomes automatically 90 minus d theta by 2 now we can see this tension can be resolved into components this is the adjacent component t cos 90 minus d theta by 2 this is the horizontal component t sin 90 minus d theta by 2 so there will be a so this value is t cos 90 minus theta by 2 is t sin d theta by 2 this is nothing but equal to t cos d theta by 2 so if you consider the other part of the element in the circuit in this dl we have considered this dl now. at the other end also there will be a tension by drawing a tangent i can get the value t i can again discuss in the same way saying that this angle will become 90 minus d theta by 2 just like this where therefore i can resolve this uh, tension into components this will become t cos 90 minus d theta by 2 that's nothing but t sin d theta by 2 this is like t sin 90 minus theta by 2 that's nothing but equal to t cos d theta by 2 just like this so you can notice few things on this small element this t cos d theta by 2 this t cos d theta by 2 are equal in magnitude and acting in the opposite direction and hence hence t cos d theta by 2 components cancel each other you can see the remaining this t sin d theta by 2 this t sin d theta by 2 both are acting in a downward direction therefore they can be adding up that implies force acting in the downward direction is both of them are adding up 2t cos 2 theta by 2 no no 2t cos 90 minus t theta by 2 that's nothing but equal to yeah let me say that value is nothing but equal to 2t sin d theta by 2 this is 1 sin d theta by t theta by 2 this is another t sin d theta by 2 both are added up as it is given that approximately we can say d theta by 2 is small when the angle is small we know sin theta is close to that of theta that implies force in a downward direction is 2t instead of sin d theta by 2 i can write d theta by 2 2 and 2 get cancelled that's nothing but equal to t into d theta that implies the force acting in a downward direction is t into d theta is this angle we know angle can be written like arc by radius arc is nothing but having a length dl radius is r so the total force acting in the downward direction on the string is t into dl by r we have also proved that the total force acting in the upward direction due to the repulsion is this much so i can simply equate both of them because at equilibrium force acting in the upward direction equal to the force acting in the downward direction force acting in the upward direction is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this value q naught q by 2 pi d theta again this d theta also can be written like 
dl by r equal to t into dl by r this value so dl by r can be cancel i want the value of the t that implies t equal to 1 by 4 into 2 8 pi and pi pi square epsilon naught q naught and q by of course here you see there is an r square which we have not written so q naught by q d theta df value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught by r square is there this r square we have to write so by r square that's the answer for the problem that way we can calculate the the total tension that is developed in each part of the wire as 1 by 8 pi square epsilon naught q naught q and divided by r square thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons in a nutshell say if you need to relook at the problem or revise at the problem what we have done is we have taken a small element on that small element there is a charge small charge dq we have calculated that between the charge at the center and dq of this there is a repulsion we have calculated that value using Coulomb's inverse square law that is acting in the upward direction of the center of that circular charge simultaneously the ring becomes tight so there is a tension the tension acts tangentially we can resolve that into components and the cos components gets cancelled sine components gets added up so we have calculated the downward force and we have equated the upward force to downward force to get the equation thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you